The popular sleep aid Ambien is getting a closer look now from researchers who say the drug could pose dangers that are sending thousands to the emergency room. Alex Flippen explains in this Fox 26 KNPN special report. Ambien and its generic form, Zolpidem, are commonly prescribed medications generally used to treat insomnia. Use of the drug has increased drastically in the last several years, and unfortunately, so have the number of emergency room visits associated with that use. Is that something that surprises you? No, no, not at all. Psychiatrist Dr. Paul Epp says he prescribes a fair amount of Ambien to his patients, and he knows it comes with risks. People will get up and do things that they don't have any idea about. Falls are a big deal, people falling. Ambien has a fairly narrow therapeutic range to it, so when you take more, pharmacologically it turns into a different substance and start acting, starts acting differently. A study published this month in JAMA Psychiatry analyzed medical records over a two-year period from 63 hospitals throughout the U.S. What it found, almost 90,000 emergency room visits each year are due to the side effects associated with prescription psychiatric medications, and more than 10,000 of those directly related to Ambien. I began researching this story simply by typing Ambien into Google. What I found were dozens and dozens of blogs and forums with people who had stories of taking Ambien and experiencing bizarre side effects. People like this woman, a blogger and culinary student who said often the morning after taking Ambien, she would wake up to find elaborate homemade meals in her refrigerator and detailed handwritten recipes as to how she'd made it, but no actual memory of doing it. I also came across a man named Mike Schmidt, who had some pretty bizarre Ambien stories of his own. He swears are true, and he was kind enough to share with me. I would be up and moving around and doing things. I was even, it was kind of like I was dreaming while I was awake, you know, I, it was that, that same kind of feeling you get when you're asleep and dreaming, but. <clears throat> Schmidt says the benefits of Ambien were outweighed by the unexpected results that he says sometimes bordered on the absurd. One evening, uh, you know, I was in a hotel, I was out of town and went to have dinner and uh, went back up to my hotel room to go to sleep, took an Ambien, but then, uh, didn't fall asleep right away, went back downstairs to the lobby, and I don't know, I just remember that I, I woke up the next morning and I had these flashes of me talking to people in a hotel lobby in an Irish accent, claiming to be the host of a uh, TV show on Food Network. Like Mike Schmidt, many people who take Ambien do things in a kind of fugue state, not truly aware of what they're doing or have little to no memory of doing it later on. ER visits related to Ambien and its generic forms are more common in older adults, often due to simple slips and falls while continuing to operate while on the drug. People do a lot of things on Ambien. Um, Ambien kind of turns the brain off but doesn't turn the body off. And so people can continue to do things and they don't remember what they're doing. Last year, the Food and Drug Administration even recommended manufacturers lower the recommended dose because the residual effect of the drug increased the risk of car accidents. Researchers from JAMA Psychiatry suggest those suffering from insomnia attempt to treat the problem by learning better sleeping habits before seeking medication, a decision Mike Schmidt made on his own. Uh, I don't take it. I really don't have trouble sleeping anymore and I uh, just found I didn't need it. I started exercising and uh, eating a little healthier and quit drinking uh, caffeine and that, that helped a lot. So, But if medication seems to be the only route, Dr. Epp says taking drugs like Ambien responsibly is paramount. The answer is that they're powerful medications that do a lot and we have to use them carefully, stay within the prescribed range. You have to tell people, I, I try to tell people this is what can go wrong. This is exactly what can go wrong. These are the things you don't want to see. And, you know, and that education is a big deal. Alex Flippin, Fox 26, KNPN.